Hey there, it's Mark. I have five packs of Matchbox Action Packs. I have three for construction, two for emergency, and I have one for racing. Here we have this model right here. This is the modified racer. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if these were these decorations were exclusive to these action packs. What's pretty cool about them, they, they come with these accessories. So here you have, looks like a street light. This is a fuel pump, like a gas station. You put these two together. This right here, have a little thing. Uh, it looks like it'd be a pylon or a warning thing that you would put in the road. And on the right, you have a pit stop. Now this one has a base. Like, uh, I think this would plug into here, and this would plug into here. Now, as far as these, um, they actually go, they say that they go with a Matchbox system. i seen the name. There you go. Fits all Motor City playsets. So they had uh, at least six different playsets. Right now, I have those in storage. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to keep these. I'm going to let uh, five of them go. And I'm probably going to put them in one auction. Just to, uh, maybe somebody would like uh, samples of something from 1990. It was 1990. Where'd it go? Right there. 1990 Matchbox International. Now that's before when Mattel owned Matchbox. By the way, all of these packages, they have the same artwork on the back. There's no changes. Here's a look at uh, the different models. Interestingly... The ambulance is backwards and none of the others are backwards. You're going to see, I believe I have this one here. You're going to get to see that right now. These two you're going to get to see. This is a wrecker. Uh, I would like to have that one, but uh, I don't have it. Here you have construction. You're going to get to see this one today. Here's a highway maintenance truck. And you got a dump truck and you have snorkel. I believe that's a snorkel on, uh, is that snorkel on the right? That one, what was the name of that one? No, utility truck, I think. I think that's the utility truck. Forgot this one. This one's very popular on eBay. If you get that one, that's uh, worth some money. That one right there. This is what we're going to see today. That looks like the Hot Wheels Salt Flat Racer. So you can see all the accessories that each one comes with. And we'll look at the six packs that I got. And I'm going to open one. I'm keeping one. It's kind of hard to read the base. Matchbox International Limited, Modified Racer, Made in China. And the reason why we're looking at the base. Now, one reason why I'm not going to keep this. I have this uh, Jetsons capsule car as, a, as an example of how wide it is. This is your, the wheels are in a kind of basic Hot Wheels width. Maybe a little bit narrow. But you can see that the Modified Racer, much, much wider. It's probably not going to fit on 164 scale track. I'm going to let it go. I will look at the two emergency action packs next. Hey, check it out. There you go. There's the ambulance. Don't have that one. How about that price tag? $1.89. And that's back in 1990. These are 30 years old now. I'm filming this in 2020. $1.89 at Farmore. I assume that's a farmer's pharmacy. I'm not familiar with it myself. As a matter of fact, this one, I think this one, I see. That's the same. That's the same. One of these, two of these, was it these two? Mm, nope, this one. There's two packs with these uh, accessories, and I'm going to keep the other one. Take a look at the, not, it's not a, it is a school bus. Here's a look at the school bus. Kind of a crude casting back then. You figure 30 years ago. That's a, a lot has improved, even though it does say die cast metal vehicle. Even 30 years ago, it was metal body and plastic base there's a look at the accessories the this one's come loose in the package police department prison transport i was looking to see if they had bars on the wheel uh, windows to make it a police transport i, I don't see any it, they're just maybe they're just smoked a little bit there you go oh this one no i thought i thought it flipped around it's, it didn't it just kind of sank in the package Here's the other emergency action pack. Same exact graphics, front and back. I just noticed that five of the packs have this uh, light pole right here. One, two, three, four, five. The maintenance truck does not. It has like a, a signal. Uh, it's got some type of uh, crossing, parking, structure, gate, uh, whatever they're called. This one, look, you got some cones that you can take out of the tree there. 
fire truck. And there you go. Put that on the side of the road. It's the danger. Fire truck crossing. There's your emergency fireman. Stand up pylon thingy. This is a, this does have moving, of course. This moves out to extend. This is the snorkel. Does have a light accessory right there. Hey, you even have a, a fireman in the back. Now it's time for the three construction action packs. Once again, die cast vehicle, die cast metal vehicle, but all of them are a metal body, plastic base. This one has a price tag as well. They might have got them from the same place. I'm looking at the price tags for QQ and has a similar uh, structure to their price tags. So probably came from far more as well. This one, oh look, this one has that one too. But this one has a uh, uh, entrance gate. So it looks like the base and you plug this in right here. Here's your arm. What's here? What is that? Uh, oh, there you go. There's the gravel that you're shoving with your highway maintenance truck. There you go. This vehicle has had a couple names after this and it still gets released as highway maintenance truck. Well, it's been a few years since we've seen it now. Aspen snow removal. It says snow, snow removal, but uh, that's some pretty blocky snow right there. This part right here, I believe you can pop it right off. I believe you can pull it right out. Because I think I have one of these uh, modern versions where the plow is upside down in the blister. So you can just pop it out, pop it right back in. Uh, this one I'm kind of tempted to keep, but I'm going to let it go. This pack has the Dodge Dakota, another construction action pack. This is the one that I'm going to open up. So this one you'll be able to see uh, loose in just a moment. And then I'll put together all the accessories. Well, I shouldn't say all the accessories. Uh, I don't have the track that this, I don't know if this, mm, I'm looking at the weight distribution. It might be able to stand up without it having to be hooked into the, uh, the track, the Motor City playsets. Here you have the speed uh, warning sign. $1,800. Wow, that's some expensive stuff there. Still no wonder why. Super unleaded, 94 octane. And the last construction action pack, again, $1.89 from Farmore. I, I'm sure I bought these from the same guy at some uh, die-cast collector show. And there's the three accessories. Gas two miles away, food two miles away, exit 15A. Mm, some kind of hazard sign. Energy, oh, maybe because it's an energy, that's power, right? So maybe that's a warning that uh, electric, electrical hazard ahead. I see that triangle right there. So I would think that you would stand it up like this. So it's probably supposed to look like that when you actually use it. This is another cool model too, but I'm gonna let it go because I do have another color uh, from this era. I have one loose. This is, uh, some of these I could sell individually, but I'm gonna see if somebody wants them all at one time and a lot energy incorporated. So I'll see if I can just let them go one time. It's easier for me and then for someone who would like them all. It'd be cheaper with shipping than them trying to buy them all individually. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to crack open the Dodge Dakota right after this break. Hey, welcome back. All of the packages are in pretty good shape. It might be a little bit wavy. The, the cardboard is not exactly all that thick. But for them being 30 years old, they're in really good condition. Oh yeah, I do have other stuff in my eBay store, just to, depending on when you're tuning in. Now let's go ahead and crack this one open. I got a pretty good shot of the base. So before I do, let's read the text on top. Matchbox on the left, 163 scale right there. Dodge Dakota Matchbox International LTD Limited, made in China. It's interesting. Look, check it out. I just now noticed that two rivets or spun posts, and it does look like it's assembled by tucking in the body into the front part. They tuck it in, and then they bring down the body here, and then they spin spin these two posts, and that's how it looks like it is uh, put together. There's a little bubble right here. I thought maybe I'd be able to get in that crack. You can see that seam on Matchbox. This is how you. 
a regular Matchbox Basics nowadays, you can just reach in there and it would come off real easy. But the, this is part, this is sealed to the card very well. Here we go. Everybody out. Check out the tailgate. They have Dodge molded right into the tooling. You have roll bars in the back. So you have a plastic part right there. That is inset, so that part is not plastic. And that is not metal. You can see inside, so it does have an interior. You can see the steering wheel. MB Construction. Nowadays, they often refer to MB as... Oh, hey, wait a second. We're not exactly level. Uh, nowadays, uh, oftentimes they use MBX when they refer to the brand. It almost looks like it has a, a sticker on there instead of paint. Let's check it out. No, it can't be. I don't. It can't be. Oh, it could be sticker actually, but no nope. paint. It does have paint? There's a. Oh, look at the. Oh man, look at that. It looks like he had a little crash. I, I do need that that breaker, that tow truck that was on the back. That's disappointing. Maybe, maybe that's why it's not, uh, it's not sitting flat. I wonder if the body is not snapped together just right when it got uh, put together. I don't know, can I squeeze this? That would, that would not be cool if it's busted right on camera. Uh, it would be an interesting moment, uh, that's for sure. This is not uh, set right. Oh, well, we're just going to leave that as is. Kind of does a, I, I with the matchbox I do not know the names of the wheels it does have ridges but if you look in the middle the the car or truck actually rides let me put something behind here like this there you go that's perfect if you look right here there's like a little ridge right here so what the, the model actually rolls on is this ridge all this part over here doesn't even touch the ground it's mainly this ridge right here there's the speed limit sign. It's actually an exit speed. So this would be for an off ramp. And right here, you can see this part. This, this surely must hook into the Motor City play sets. The light post has the same thing. Now let's see if it'll stand on its own. Yep, no problem. Let's, let's get a little wiggle. Not too bad. Uh, but then again, you know what? It's, it's right in the middle, so it's not actually getting that much inertia causing it to fall down let's see stop oh pretty good let's go ahead and get this assembled remember how we looked at this action pack and it actually had the miles instead of kilometers so if that's miles and not kilometers that means this would be us dollars and uh i guess 18 dollars a gallon or maybe a oh silly me i forgot gas stations often go with the extra digits but normally it's like a dollar eighty nine nine, a dollar eight nine nine is usually the extend digits. Why they just don't put a dollar ninety? I don't know. Now these right here, I'm not. Sure. Oh no, I don't think you want the handle on the inside. I think you want the handle on the outside. And here is the service station. That is a sticker. As a matter of fact, the sticker is coming up. I have a little butter knife. I can slide right here. Yeah, you see that sticker is coming up. So in the other packs, uh, the stickers might be coming up. Nothing on the back. None of them have anything on the back. Matter of fact, look, this one's hollow. It's a, look, it's, a, it's an inexpensive toy for kids, right? That's what it was meant for back in the day. But now since it's 30 years old, it's up to you whether it's a collectible or whether you're going to buy this for your kids. Because to be honest, nowadays, I, I'm not sure if any Mattel brands actually have accessories in their packages i think maybe the disney cars line did does have some in some of their deluxe packs they have some two packs nowadays i i don't buy those mr grooves is my ebay store the link's in the description or in the comments or you can just type it in or if you go to instagram my race grooves instagram account i have the link in the bio i often post the link in uh on twitter and facebook as well race grooves even though it's Mr. Grooves, everything collectibles under race grooves. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.